Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again and welcome to day one of my Apollo 11 week. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm not going to show you um, a dramatised launch of the Saturn V rocket. I'm not going to show you a dramatised landing of the moon landings. I'm not going to show you a news report. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to give you a video that you can, where you can actually hear the radio chatter between flight control and the Apollo spacecraft. It's to give you a better idea and a better sense of what it was like behind the scenes and also maybe to give you a better idea of what it was like for both the controllers and the astronauts alike. So this is to celebrate 50 years of Apollo 11. 50 years ago today the Apollo 11 spacecraft was launched atop the Saturn V rocket, the most powerful rocket in the world from Kennedy Space Center on July the 16th, 1969. I'm going to time this video, hopefully, to the minute when the Saturn V lifts off in this video at the time when the actual Saturn V lifted off 50 years ago today. But before that, I'm going to give you an idea of some of the things that were actually said quite regularly all the way through the clip, and namely a lot of the call signs for the different controllers' names and what they actually mean and what they do. And as the video goes along, I'm going to point out some key stages and a few other phrases that are actually used and hopefully give you an explanation of what they mean. If I don't give any explanation of what different things are said, it's because I don't know or I haven't been able to find out the information. So anyway, on with the explanation of the different positions in the mission control. The first and obvious one is flight or flight director. If you've seen the movie Apollo 13, you would have already seen this already, so you probably already know. Essentially, he controls all the flight controllers. In terms of flight control, he'd be the boss. Capcom, that means capsule communication. He's the guy, he's the only controller who actually talks directly with the astronauts aboard the Apollo 11 spacecraft. ECOM, stands for Electrical, Environmental and Communications. Although the communications element of this position was taken away after Apollo 10, ECOM still stuck. Basically his job is to look after all the electrical systems and the environmental systems and the, world, the life support systems aboard the Apollo 11 spacecraft. Surgeon. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. He's a medical officer who monitors the astronauts' vital signs all the way through the flight. FIDO. FDO or Dynamics Officer. He basically monitors the trajectory or the path of the Apollo spacecraft all the way from launch until splashdown. Booster. This is a really essential station. It's actually manned by three people. They monitor the massive three stages of the Saturn V space rocket from launch until orbit. Guido or Guidance. He essentially looks after the flight guidance computer and monitors to make sure that the spacecraft is pointing and flying in the right direction at all times. GNC or Guidance, Navigation and Control. A little bit like Guido or Guidance, but basically they monitor the mechanical sides of things of the, of the spacecraft in terms of the guidance, like the reaction control systems, the gimbals, etc, etc. Other things you might hear is Mode 1 Alpha, Mode 1 Bravo, Mode 1 Charlie. Basically all those, without getting too technical, they're basically points in the flight where if there was an emergency abort, certain things would happen at those points. Anyway, that's enough of me wittering on. Let's play the video and I hope you enjoy. CVTS is CSA 9, arm 9 is retracted. CVTS, Okay, 
ETL flight controllers coming up on auto sequence. Booster, how are you? Where go flight? Econ? Go flight. TNT? Go flight. Telcom? Go flight. Control? Go. Network? You got it, Al? Got it all? Everything up? That's permanent flight. Okay. Tony Latin clear. Apollo 11, this is the launch operations manager. The launch team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. Uh, thank you very much. No, it'll be a good one. CDR, FCC, how do you read me? FCC, Lavender. Okay, Neil, have a good one. Good. All right, uh, CMP on panel two, disk, you verify program two. Program two. All right, uh, CMP on panel two, disk, insert verb 75 and do not enter. Verb 75, standing by. LMP on panel Light three, down, three quarter forward, switch to forward. 75, verify. Three quarter going forward, verify gray. Start sequence initiate. Auto sequence flight. Roger. Okay, all flight controllers win auto sequence. Stand by. Roger, roll, roger, pitch. 
Stand by for one Bravo. Mark, one Bravo. One Bravo. Our flight line safety is off in the water. Roger, RSO. Roger. Okay. Kevin, we're leaving. Roger, how you, Booster? We're going to fly. Good at one minute, Captain. Oh, well, Eleven Houston, you're good at one minute. Flight, how are you? Looking good, flight. GNC? Looks good, flight. Ecom? Looking good, flight. Roger. Booster flight, how are you? We're go, flight. Surgeon? We're, we're go, flight. Everything's good. Roger. Stand by for Mode 1, Charlie. Stand by for Mode 1, Charlie. Mark. Mark. Mode 1, Charlie. Staging staging Charlie. booster. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Good for staging, Captain. Follow 11. This is Houston. You are go for staging. Inboard cutoff. We confirm inboard cutoff. Confirm in board. Roger. How you eat, Tom? We're go flight. GNC? We're go flight. Roger. Staging. And ignition. Cut off. Ignition. Roger. Trajectory you verify. Ship? Roger, thrust is go all engines. Looks good, Captain. 11 down. Houston, thrust is go all engines. You're looking good. Hi, hey, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. We got the first step. Roger, we confirm. Confirm second step. plane step. Roger. The tower's going. Roger, tower's tower. going, Fido. Fido flight, you copy? Guys, initiate flight. Houston, be advised, the visual is good today. This is Houston, Roger out. Let me know when it converges, guys. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look at. Looks good, flight converge. Steering converge, Captain. 11 Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. Kevin, stable at 5-9, flight. Roger, Kevin. Roger. Hi, how you, Booster? We're go flight. GNC. We're go flight. Surgeon. Go flight. We're good at four minutes, Captain. Eleven Houston, you are go at four minutes. Hatch. Stand by for S4B. Stand to by COI for S4B to COI capability. Okay. Mark. Mark. S4B to COI capability. Roger. You sure sound clear down there, Bruce. I think you're sitting in the living room. Oh, 
Thank you. You all are coming through beautifully, too. Boost to flight, are you? We'll go flight. GNC. We'll go flight. Econ. Go flight. Guidance. Let's go flight. We're go. Okay. Flight fighter, they all look good. We're go. Roger. We're go at six minutes. Starting to get So are we. Roger 11, uh, you're go from the ground at six minutes. Flight booster. Go. Times, eight plus one seven, nine plus one one. Copy eight one seven nine one one. Roger. Gimbal's on. Roger, Gimbal. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Level sense arm at eight plus one seven. Uh, outboard cutoff at nine plus one one. Booster flight, how are you? Go flight. Guidance. Go flight. GNC. Go flight. Econ. Go flight. Good at seven minutes, Captain. Follow 11, go at seven minutes. 11, this is Houston. Roger, your go from the ground at seven minutes. Level sense arm at eight plus one seven. Outboard cut off at nine plus one one. Roger. Go flight. And booster. Go flight. Go to the press flight. Flight, we're right on the ground track. Roger. Flight fight, a good agreement. All sources, we're go. Roger. Paul 11, Houston, you are go at eight minutes. And just a little bit Roger, PU. Roger, we got PU shift down here, too. Trust is go flight. Roger. Yeah, looks like a nice day for us. And thunderstorm downrange is about off. Okay, booster flight, how are you for staging? We'll go for staging flight. Guidance, how are you? Go. Go for staging, Captain. 11, this is Houston. You are go for staging. Over. Stand by for mode 4 capability. Stand by for mode 4 capability. Mark. Mark, mode 4 capability. Cut off. Roger. Staging and ignition. Ignition confirmed. Thrust is go. Ignition confirmed. Thrust is go. Eleven. Confirmed. Flight. Roger. That guns initiate flight. Roger. Econ flight. How are you? We're go flight. GNC. We're go flight. Surgeon, how are you doing? Guns converge flight. Go. Go. Roger. Booster flight, how are you? We're go flight. We're good at 10 minutes, Captain. Apollo 11, this is Houston. At 10 minutes, you are go. And Roger, 11, go. Flight fight, all sources agree, we're go. Roger, guidance, you got a predicted cutoff. Roger, flight, it's settled down at 11 plus 4-2. Satisfied with that one? You Go with it. 11 plus 4, 2. Okay. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Predicted cutoff at 1, 1 plus 4, 2. Over. 1, 1, 4, 2, Grinch. Booster 
flight are you? Uh, we're Go Flight. GNC. We're Go Flight. Decom. Go Flight. Guidance, are you? Go Flight. Sergeant. We're Go Flight. Go at 11, Captain. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are Go at 11. You did say the gimbals were off, didn't you? That's affirmative. Okay. River. Flight blister, go. 4B is reconfigured for coast. We're in local horizontal earth right. Okay, Capcom, booster configured for coast. Both spacecraft look good. Apollo 11, this is Houston. The booster has been configured for orbital coast. Both spacecraft are looking good. Over.
Come back to you. Yeah, no, hurry on. Uh, stand by. No. Uh, say again your question. Verify ready to power Please down the abort advisory system flight. the USB Please command system. system. Well be safe. Affirmative. We're ready. Thank you. GMIL, CVTS. We're ready to go. Safety USB command system, disable and power down the IU and verify, clear to rearm the command system as required. Hey, anyway. You know this business of the Delta Azimuth update? Yep. Uh, if we get it, why don't we go ahead and pass it up over to Canary since we've been having all these calm problems in the Canary. Okay, we'll get it at your LOS call. Well, that's the end of that clip. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you found it informative. Well, this is day one of my Apollo 11 week, but it's not the end, because this evening I'm going to be holding a live hangout about Apollo 11. We're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a review on an interview with Neil Armstrong, no less. And if you'd like to join in the hangout, if I know, and if I know you, you're more than welcome to join. Let me know, and I'll send you the link. And if you want to just come along, and you can have, put some questions in the chat, and we're trying to address those as we go along or if there's anything that you'd like to say. Well, if you like this video, please like the below, and if you haven't done already, please hit the subscribe button, and if you hit the bell icon, and then you'll be notified when I upload more videos. I hope to see you at the live hangout later on today, and that's all from me. Space is real, and thank you for watching.